Hi, this is Haley with Two Wise from Cyclocane.com, and we're going to be taking an informal look at the track path that the National Hurricane Center just released. By the time you're watching this video, it probably won't be just released at all. The big thing that we're going to be talking about is they've moved this major hurricane closer to Florida in the most recent thing. But let's transition over to here. So if you want to look at the previous versus the current stuff, for this archive thing up here on Ian's page this is on National Hurricane Center. And I'm blind because I it took me a while to find this graphics archive. All the rest of the stuff points to the text stuff. But this is the graphics archive. And then we're going to be specifically looking at the five day width line. And then I'm going to stop this loop. Hit this button over here to go to the end. So this is the most recent one as of, let's see, 11 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. And so that's the same path that's reflected in the radar omega thing that I showed at the very beginning. And then, so what we have here is this major hurricane. So on this thing, it doesn't actually break it down into what category. It's either a one or a two, and then a three up to five. That's all ha the only way that they're marked is an H or an M for major hurricane. But if you go back, so there was no change with the intermediate advisory, which was advisory 11A. So basically the path is a comparison of what they released at 5 p.m. Eastern versus just now at 11 p.m. Eastern. So if we just back up by a bunch, or not by a bunch, back up by one. So the major hurricane was much more, depending on your de definition of much, out to the west. And then, of course, they moved that much closer to the co coast. So mm, things are a developing situation, obviously. And is this the correct tab? Yes, it is. This is in the forecast. This is the most recent 11 p.m. forecast discussion where they said it should again be stressed that there is still significant uncertainty in the track of Ian, especially in the three to five day time frame. Users should not focus on the details of the track forecast at longer time ranges, which means oh, I shouldn't have made this video clearly because we're focusing on what could be in the future. But so obviously a developing situation. If you're in one of these areas, you should definitely be paying attention by going to the National Hurricane Center or, of course, just have to pop in cyclocane.com. And that is it for me tonight, and I hope you're staying safe out there.